In this video, you I will show dead. you how to make anyone you talk. You Many dead. YouTubers use this technique, even though some don't look as good. Anyways, let's get right into it. Start off by importing the image you would like to use. Just drag and drop it into the projects panel. Then create a composition out of it, by dragging and dropping it on whatever this thing is. Now, the image has been added to a composition. Right click it, and select rename, then change it to, face. Then press Ctrl D, to duplicate the layer, rename this one to, mouth. After that, create a new black solid by right clicking and selecting new, then clicking on solid. This color is for the mouths inside, you can choose black or dark red, but I prefer black. I'm gonna change its name to solid. Move the solid in between the mouth and the face. Select the mouth layer, and select the pen tool. Use the pen tool to cut out the bottom part of the mouth, just remember to not cut out the teeth. Try to be precise. Adjust it until it looks something like this. Then select the solid layer and resize it, until it's a little bit bigger than the mouth layer, then mask it with the pen tool, it doesn't have to be too precise, just make sure it's inside the mouth layer. This is basically what we did earlier to cut out the mouth. So go watch that again if you are stuck. Now, if we move the mouth layer, you can see the inside part, which is basically the black solid. Now, import the audio. I'm just gonna use a sound effect that has someone's voice in it. Move the audio if you don't want the picture to talk directly after the clip starts. Right click on the audio layer, then go to keyframe assistant. After that, click on convert audio to keyframes. This will automatically create keyframes out of the audio. Expand the mouth layer, then expand the transform. Then expand the audio amplitude layer, then expand effects, then expand both channels. You will find the generated keyframes there. We want to use these keyframes to move the mouth's position, so alt click on the position to create the script thingy. Then use the pip whip tool thingy. To use audio's keyframes, just hold while dragging it to the slider under both channels, that will create this new script automatically. We only have to change a few things to make it work properly. Change the first temp to, position and then brackets, and then put a zero in it. In the second temp do the same thing, but this time change the zero to a one. Then add the temp at the end using a plus sign. Don't forget to add a bracket at the end. Then multiply the first line by any number, change this number to change the intensity of the mouth's movement. Now if we play it back, we can see the mouth moving according to the audio. You are dead! You can adjust the number to change the intensity of the mouth. I will make the number even smaller because the mouth is moving too much. Now if we play it back, it looks a lot better, and a lot more realistic as well. You are dead! You can use this technique on almost anyone, just have a picture of them and just do all this. I tried it many times before making this video, just don't use a picture where they have their mouth closed. It looks much better when you can see their teeth or at least the insides of their mouth. It also looks better when you have them facing the camera. You are dead! This video took a long time to make, so thank you for watching till the end, I really appreciate it. You can check out my channel for videos like this. And also I wanted you guys to know that I will be making a Ko-Fi page which will have many free things, along with the option to donate, until then you can donate through PayPal with the link in the description below. That's all, thank you.